Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to make a Thanksgiving card. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell to get notified so you don't miss out on anything. Let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is I am using Vintage Photo. This is Distress Ink. And I'm just inking up the sides of this paper so that it makes it look like it is a lot older and aged. And I really like that look for this card. This paper is from Autumn. It's by Stephen Duncan. And if you look on my blog, I will have a link for that. So you will know what it looks like and you'll have an idea of what to look for. So as I'm inking up this paper, I like to start on the glass mat that I have and then work my way in. If you really seem to struggle with this, I do recommend working on glass. It makes the ink glide a lot easier. So the sentiment of my card is coming from Cards TV. This is Mini Messages. It has all of the different holidays and this is a really great starter set if you're just getting started with card making. And I also want to let you know that Cards TV is also a YouTube channel. So you can hop over there and check them out too. Mary does a really great job with her cards also. So this is the first time I've ever used this stamp, so I'm just going to place it on there and I'm going to use the vintage photo that I used to ink up the sides. You can also use Distress Ink to ink up your stamps too, and that way it kind of matches and I really do like that they match. So I'm using the Tim Holtz stamping platform. I really enjoy this. It's definitely for me. I know that there are other stamping platforms too, but I just recommend that you get something. That way you can stamp in the same spot multiple times and it saves a lot of materials as you are working. So I'm using this ruler. It's from My Sweet Petunia. It's called the Cut-A-Line and it's really nice and different because it has a slit in the middle of the ruler so that you can put a knife through there and you can cut your sentiments out straight every single time. So as you do this, you will need to make multiple passes through there. So you really have to try to make sure that you don't move the ruler around while you're doing this. So one thing to take into consideration is how steady can you hold the ruler. If you can't hold the ruler very steady, then this probably isn't going to be a tool that you would want. But it really does a good job lining up the edges. I just use the sides of the words. Like I think on this one, I use the exclamation mark to line it up to make sure that it was straight. So that's another tip that I use. Also make sure as you are doing this that you keep your fingers out of that track because it looks like it would be very easy to get your fingers stuck underneath there and then you're accidentally cutting your finger and not even paying attention. So make sure you're not in a hurry when you are using the cut -a line So I wanted to put a background on here for my sentiment. And so I had a straight corner already on this scrap paper here. So I just put my sentiment on top of there and I'm just kind of eyeballing using the corners of the brown paper to get my straight edge on here. I'm just going to eyeball exactly how thick I want the border to be. And then I'm just going to cut around there. So I'm going to repeat that process on the other side. Notice where my thumb is at at that bottom there. If you go too far with that X-Acto knife, it could be very easy to unknowingly cut your hand. So this is definitely, again, not a tool for children or anything either. I'm going to use art glitter glue here on the back and just place these two pieces together. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this card front down using my art glitter glue to this brown cardstock that I'm going to use as a mat for my card. If you want all the dimensions for this, please check out my blog. It will be in the description below. And I've got this white card front. This came from the Elegant Edges cartridge from Cricut Design Space. 
it's definitely if you're going to make cards you need to buy this one because you will use it a lot this little turkey was also found on Cricut Design Space. He was free, so if you don't have access, that's okay. You can still get this little turkey guy on there for free. Probably it's just for a limited time. So I went ahead and popped him up on some foam tape, and then I just need to glue down my sentiment there. And then I just need to glue down this card front to the base of my card. So thank you so much for joining me today. Stick around for the end of the video if you wanna see what sentiment I wrote on the inside of my card. But if you like this video and you enjoy making cards and learning about Inkscape, learning about Cricut Design Space and Brother Scan and Cut, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye now. Thank you.